So my current headset for quite some time has been the HyperX Cloud 2s. For the few simple reasons that they're comfortable, they provide a decent audio experience in pretty much any environment, and they are incredibly portable without making me look like a noob thanks to the 3.5mm jack as well as the detachable mic. The Logitech G633 Artemis Spectrum Gaming Headset on paper has all of these things and more. So are these things my new favorite headset? Let's find out. Let's start off with the audio experience with this headset and move on to the more physical features. To be quite frank, these headphones sound quite good. The audio is crisp and clear and doesn't get distorted at higher volume levels, but the standard audio setting as well as the adjustable EQ in the Logitech software provide a fairly enjoyable audio experience no matter what media you're consuming. So good on you Logitech for creating a nice listening experience with the 40mm drivers. The microphone portion of the headset is well designed with the mic being able to be neatly tucked away whenever it's not in use. And it on it automatically mutes itself whenever it's placed in the upright position. The microphone is also extendable and flexible to help with placement. And the recording experience is okay not great and the microphone could definitely use a pop filter but it's a gaming headset so lousy microphones are standard and logitech actually goes one step above lousy here more on the physical aspects of the headset the ear cups are a more rectangular design that allow the ear cups to fit snugly around your ears and they include a breathable mesh material that was actually enjoyable over a long period of use i really appreciate logitech's ear cup design here the ear cups also have a wide range of swivel that allow you to face the headset towards you when you take it off to help not block your range of head motion. However, there is a big design issue for me with this headset and I'm not sure if it's due to the ear cups, the headband, or my head shape, but I cannot get these things to stay on my head whenever I look down. I also had this issue with the Corsair H1500s, which you can check out my review of here, but it's unfortunate to say that the issue is actually more extreme with the Logitech G633s. Whenever I would use this headset while I was doing any sort of activity around the house using the 3.5mm jack, such as the dishes, I had to constantly reposition them on my head to prevent them from falling off. Huge points off here at Logitech. Moving on to the other features of the headset, the G633s feature a dual input solution with both a micro USB jack as well as a 3.5mm jack. The USB cable that's included is matte rubber and way too dang long. It seems as if they designed this headset to be used with a computer that is on the other side of the room. The included 3.5mm cable is braided fiber complete with inline volume, media, and microphone controls. And again, this cable is excessively long. I stand at about 1.87 meters tall or six foot two. And with the full length of this cable, my phone easily drags on the ground when I stand upright. Like half this length is necessary to get it in my pocket. But regardless of the gigantic cables, Logitech includes a switch at the back of the left ear cup to be able to switch easily between either audio input. Along with this switch on the left ear cup, you'll also find three programmable function buttons, a microphone mute button and a volume adjustment wheel. Each of the G buttons is adjustable within the Logitech gaming software and the software will automatically search your computer to find out which games you have installed and give you a set of useful functions to correspond with the game. Pretty nifty. However, personally, I don't think that I would ever use these buttons, although the volume adjustment wheel is fairly handy. Finally, there are the lighting effects. You'll see both an RGB strip on either ear cup as well as the illuminated Logitech gaming logo, which is part of a detachable panel. You can adjust the RGBs to sync with other Logitech peripherals that you may have, as well as a few different effects in the software. However, just like in my review of the Corsair Voids, I still don't get the point of lights on the side of the headsets when you can't see them. Sure, they look cool when you put them down on a stand or on your desk, but honestly, I'd rather not deal with the extra expense that this likely incurs on the headset. It's just so strange that you put lights on something that you're not looking at. And that pretty much well leads me into my conclusion. These will not be my next headset. 
The super extra duper long cables are actually quite a pain to deal with, and even if those were of a reasonable length, the fact that I can't keep them on my head whenever I move is an absolute deal breaker. However, this is actually a decent audio experience while stationary and using them at my desk wasn't terribly a problem. And even without the RGB lights, it actually looks pretty good. And I really, really, really wanted these to work out and keep them, but alas, they didn't. But this also brings me to their price. Currently on Newegg and Amazon in the US, you can get these for $120. And in South Africa, they're currently going for just under 3,000 Rand. And again, just like with other products, it feels like you're paying a price premium for the RGB lights, which are completely useless. But I've been hating on the RGB lights in most of my peripheral reviews, and I want to know what you guys think about them. Is it worth it to have these lights? Should manufacturers charge a price premium for headsets that have these lights? Because I just don't see it, and I don't want to keep harping on it if you guys, my viewers, are actually of the exact opposite mindset. So just please let me know in the comments. And with that, I want to give a big thank you to Wootwear for sponsoring this video on the Logitech G633 Artemis Spectrum Gaming Headset. Wootwear should be your go-to computer hardware shop for anything gaming related, including a set of flashy RGB gaming headset. Their customer service will strive to make sure you have a top-notch experience. So if you're in South Africa, head on over to wootwear.co.za to get started on wooding up your life and see their tremendous selection. And that's it for this review of the Logitech G633 Artemis Spectrum Gaming Headset. Like this video if you found it helpful. Dislike it if it was more disappointing than the fact that they, these things couldn't stay on my dang head while I used them. I was so disappointed. Subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech-related content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.